Well, I think the industry is actually in really good shape. If you look at the journey we've had in the last five years, six years, particularly since Lehman Brothers and the collapse of the financial services industry, actually this industry has done remarkably well. And in particular in London, we have reinvented ourselves in many ways around new industries and we've drawn a lot of people into this city through the development of new buildings, through industries growing up, through the attraction of talent into London from around the world. And that's been a hugely powerful trend in the last few years. It's just beginning to ripple out of London, I think, into some of the regional cities. And you're beginning to see some of the property markets react to that trend. And I expect that to continue. So overall, actually, I think the property markets are in good shape. They're not oversupplied. There isn't too much space being developed. Tenant growth, tenant businesses are taking more space uh, after having been uh, uh, contracting for a few years. And so we are beginning to see some of these positive momentum signs building, not just in London, but around the country as well. I think one of the challenges that London has, without question, is the fact that we do not have much supply coming on stream in the next few years. I mean, if you look around, you'll see a lot of cranes. A lot of those cranes are cross-rail. They are quite often residential buildings, or they're pre-let. So they've already been taken. And one of the things, if you are a big tenant today looking for space, you are going to struggle finding a new building, certainly in the West End. You, you might well find it in the city, but you are going to struggle uh, over the next few years to find the right stock that suits your needs perfectly. And in some cases, that means businesses are having to think about uh, resourcing uh, outside London and finding, and finding solutions elsewhere. And in the main, businesses like ours are working really hard to try and persuade people to stay in London and finding solutions for them, be it refurbishments uh, or extensions of existing stock. So I think that's, that's a challenge we have. The supply side is very tight. Planning is as difficult as I can remember in London. It's supposed to have been getting easier. Councils like Westminster in particular are doing a fantastic job, but with reducing resources, they have a far smaller budget than they did a few years ago, and people like us are working very closely with them, but it's difficult for them. You know, they, they, they don't have many opportunities to increase the amount of space coming through, and that's a big challenge.